Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today we're going to take a second look at this copper tube alcohol burner. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay, let's get started. Uh, what precipitated a second look of these uh, copper tube alcohol burners uh, is on my uh, first video reviewing these, uh, the bird performance really wasn't that good. In fact, this one ran out of fuel kind of quick and this one really didn't want to bring anything to a boil, so I was just kind of puzzled by it. I wasn't overly concerned since I just kind of bought these for novelty's sake. <laughs> I never plan on using them, just for to be a collector. Um, so anyway, I was uh, putting these up, getting ready to uh, uh, dry them out, get all the alcohol out of them, and uh, put them away. And this one still had a little alcohol left in it, so I fired it off just to kind of burn it off since... The holes on these are kind of small, so it'd be kind of difficult to uh, get the alcohol out of them. Um, yeah, these these two are actually basically exactly the same. This one just has a bigger tank than this one, but everything else is identical. Um, anyway, so I just uh, fired it off just to to burn off the alcohol. What little was left in the uh, in the con container. So. Uh, and when I fired it off and it got going, it uh, it really had a nice strong flame on it. And I go, hmm, I don't remember that from the first test. Maybe like a, some stoves, you have to kind of burn them in before they uh, really start performing well. So uh, that strong flame got me thinking. So I went ahead and set up a quick boil test just to see how it worked out. And uh, the time on it was respectable for an alcohol burner. So I thought, hmm. I guess uh, maybe I'll just do another video to kind of correct it, uh, might, you know, remove the bad name from this if anybody's thinking about getting them for whatever reason. So I thought I'd just uh, do another boil test, let you guys look at it and uh, see what you think. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, set up the, uh, the boil and get right back to you. All right, I think I'm ready uh, to run the boil test. Well, by the way, I used a little filler bottle that came with these stoves. Like if you look at the other video, these uh, came with a lot of... Uh, goodies with them so actually it wasn't a bad little deal but anyway it came with these uh, small uh, just about two ounce water bottles 50 uh, milliliter uh, fuel bottles and I filled this one up and it took uh, 45 milliliters which uh, what is that it's about an about an ounce and a half so a pretty good sized tank so that should be plenty of alcohol to, to boil two cups or a little bit more than that so so anyway, I filled filled him up. So let's go ahead and get ready to uh, to boil. There's the pot stand. This is the one that came with this particular stove. And by the way, it is about an inch and a quarter from the top here to the bottom of the uh, the pot stand. So that's within the uh, the the sweet spot for alcohol stoves. So go ahead and get this one fired off. And to get these started, all you do is just take a match and uh, get the coils hot, and it'll kick right off here in a little bit. There you go. Looks like it's going pretty good. So let's go ahead and put the pot on. I don't know if you can hear that roar or not. And as before, I'll uh, swing around and let you look at the flame pattern. Here's your flame pattern. Okay, as we're waiting for the uh, water to come to a boil, I'll mention that I will put a link to the uh, previous review on these uh, burners in the description, along with a uh, link to my playlist of all my uh, burners and stove uh, videos. Now, while we're waiting uh, the water to boil, another couple of comments. Um, I did purchase these on Timu and I've also seen them on AliExpress. Uh, there might be other places you can find them. And these particular ones are uh, really well built. Can't complain about that. I had one commenter said the stuff you buy from Timo is, uh, is crap. And that's not necessarily true. I've bought quite a bit of stuff from them and from AliExpress and have had pretty good luck, you know, 
not to say that you won't have a failure now and then, which can always happen, but with the prices you pay for a lot of this stuff, it's not like <laughs> that's a serious loss. Yep, getting close. 208, it's boiling away in there. Oh yeah, got the royal boy rolling boil before 210. 209. Come on. There we go. We'll say uh, 1044. All right. So uh, 1044 to bring it to 210, which uh, is a probably standard or respectable time for a uh, alcohol uh, burner. So um, the uh, this little guy does work. Uh, quite well to boil water so if you're ever considering one then uh, I hope uh, my last video didn't deter you <laughs> anyway uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the camera off and we'll just wait to see how long uh, the uh, 45 uh, mil or uh, ounce and a half of alcohol will uh, burn in this uh, burner yeah, it's starting to slow down I think it's just about done so we're up okay I little bit of a hint of a flame left but uh, we'll say uh, a good uh, good 20 and a half minutes so that's uh, that's respectable burn time plenty of heat so uh, um, I have to apologize for uh, the poor test on the last uh, video and uh, dissing this stove so it looks like it's a it's a good stove now the other one's a little bit bigger say this one held a ounce and a half ran for 20 minutes uh, this one looks a little bit bigger maybe half an ounce 25 mil more than this one just looking at the size comparison so depending on which one you want to get if you need the burn time imagine weight's not that much difference so size wise yeah it's a little bit bigger if you're looking for size so anyway that's the uh, the redo on this boil test uh, apologize to the uh, stove for uh, the poor performance of last or my poor technique on the last video so that's all I can say on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.